Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Menlo Park City Council. My name is Mayor Pro Tem Cecilia Taylor. Welcome to all the youth poets, parents, caregivers, and families here with us tonight for the Menlo Park Youth Poetry Celebration. Thank you for joining us on this special occasion. Menlo Park's young people inspire us with their boundless energy and creative spirit. The youth of Menlo Park are our city's most precious asset. Tonight, we have the pleasure of recognizing all the youth poets in our community and hearing four of their original poems on the theme, If I Were a Book. To begin the presentation, I would like to introduce our library service director, Sean Reinhardt. Test one, two. Okay, great, this one's for the poets. Thank you, Mayor Pro Tem. Uh, good evening, everyone. Um, as uh, Mayor Pro Tem Taylor mentioned, this is a very special evening. Welcome to all of you. Thank you for being here. We're going to uh, get right to it and have some of our winning poets come up and read their poems in just a minute. But first, I'd just like to thank a few people. Um, first of all, I want to thank some of the library staff who were responsible for putting this event together. Uh, in particular, I want to um, recognize our teen librarian, Gina File. Where's Gina? Please give Gina a big round of applause. Uh, standing next to her is our assistant library director, Nick Jagda. Many of you know Nick. He's done a great job. In the back there taking photos, our program specialist, John Weaver. Wave to the folks, John. And a few people in the back of the room, Ronnie Singh, Jennifer Wilkins, and Winnie Chan. Give them a round of applause. This is the library staff who put together the event. Um, we were just astounded when we started this contest in partnership with the Menlo Park Library Foundation, who we're going to hear from in a minute. We thought we'd do this contest and we might get 50 or 60 poems. Uh, we actually received almost 200 entries in this contest which is an amazing number. Give, you all, give yourselves a round of applause. And let me tell you, I had the pleasure of reading every one of these poems, and they were all incredible. And it was a, they're just really uh, mind-blowing and so heartfelt and so moving. Um, it was actually a very challenging task for the judging panel to pick out winners and honorable mentions. Every poem is astounding, but we had to narrow it down. And so uh, the last folks I want to thank before I bring up our foundation folks are the panelists who reviewed all of these poems. Um, here in the room is one of the panelists, Jackie Berger, who's from the MA English program at Notre Dame de Namur. Wave to folks, Jackie. She did a phenomenal service reading all those poems and judging them. Sitting next to her is um, a member of the Library Foundation Board who was also a judge. Uh, Betsy Hallaby is here. Thank you, Betsy. Um, I don't think she's here this evening. Um, our former library commissioner and a reading specialist at Oak Knoll School, uh, Jackie Sebrian, was another one of our panelists. Let's applaud her in absentia. They sat in the room for hours reading all these poems. And then finally, I'm not sure if she's here, our fourth panelist is the San Mateo County Poet Laureate, Eileen Casanetto. Is Eileen here this evening? Let's give her a round of applause for the TV cameras. Thank you, Eileen, for all the help you gave us. So without further ado, thank you, everyone. Thank you to everyone who entered. I'd like to introduce the president of the Menlo Park Library Foundation, Elise Stein. So hello, as he said, my name is Elise Stein. I'm here as, uh, to represent the Menlo Park Library Foundation. We are, we tend to be the fundraising arm of the library. And I want to introduce a couple of the other board members. Betsy Halibay, you've already met, met. She is one of the judges. And to her left is Lynn Favaccini, uh, who is our treasurer. So. So I want to talk for a minute about this wonderful contest, which we were very proud to co-sponsor. It really shines a light 
on the high levels of literacy and creativity of our young people and really uh, focuses on their self-expression, which really blew me away when I read all the poems that I could get my hands on. It was really terrific. So I want to thank each and every one of the poets for their contributions. And if they wouldn't mind, if the poets would just stand up for a minute. Yes. All right, take your seats. Thank you again for those contributions, each and every one of them, you. We want to wish you the best of luck, and we hope that you will continue to write poetry for the rest of your days. So now, thank you. So for now, I'm going to ask Cecilia Taylor, our uh, pro tem mayor, to come and join me at the podium. Okay, our first presentation for their poem is going to be Amelia Hansen. If I were a book, if I were a book, I would have hilarious adventures. I would have superhero dreams. I could swim in beautiful seas. I could fly over gigantic green trees. I could walk in a castle where you need lots of keys. I could be aboard a pirate ship with my friend named Pufferson Heavenly Fleece. I could see humongous waves which make me look brave. I could see bats who live in dark, dark caves who also look brave. Why not have you look at a monster band or have you read about crabs who like to live in sand? Maybe learn about mermaids who dive around secret lands, or funny people who like to dance and learn how to prance, maybe a handstand in France. I would love to see all different types of faces and the eyes of different races. I would like to see the faces of delight or having a great fright, but I mostly love to see faces cry when they say to me, the book, bye bye. with this award from the Library Foundation. Congratulations on your win. Amelia, please join us. We'll take a quick photograph of you with your prize. And look tall, Amelia. Let's hear it for Amelia. Our next poet will be Sophia Gamini. Um, um, so I'm not embarrassed to say I did make a couple of mistakes on my poem. <laughs> okay. My first page is turned. Dancing, spinning in a dim candlelight, my worn-out pages ripped, burned, and broken, waiting to be tended. My words, some may call magical, whispering of the future, beholding the past. My words dance with glee, for there is still happiness inside of me. I have been read millions of times, hearing the whisper of their words, like silk being thrown into air, going in all sorts of directions, dancing as it falls into the empty air. Each person reads delicately, like they're frightened if they read any different, I will rip into a million different pieces and can never be mended again. But they do not know if that, that if that is to happen, my words still live on, floating in air like dust, still, still whispering words of wisdom. If you listen so softly, you might hear me. The candlelight flickers, giving a warning of burning out soon. 
burning away, melting, like my old worn-out pages will too soon. Nobody will ever know the secrets that I carry. They will never know, unless they listen. Sophia, it's my great pleasure to present you with this award from the Library Foundation. Congratulations on your win. Thank you. Here, we'll have a picture. Hold your... Yes, there we go. Our next poet is Jamie Zhao. If I were a book, we'd all like to inspire odes and others' chronicles. Some would hope for novels or a romanticized retelling of a life they've never even seen. A visceral string of 12 summers, the 13th is when you see reality for what it is. But if each of us got only a couplet, what would it illustrate? Impulsive bloodlines, what's supposed to be the golden girl? Mediocre at best, could have bought my merits, but I choose to write my own chapters. Hopeful youth, solitary dreamer, I did as I was told, a product of society. How will the world remember me? It's for you to choose. Jamie, it's my pleasure to present you with this award. Uh, congratulations from the Library Foundation. Our last poet is the grand prize winner, and it's Cheyenne Robinson. If I were a book, I wouldn't invite you in just yet. I fear that if I let you in, you may hurt me in an instance. If I were a book, my main character would struggle with trusting people because people started breaking her trust at an early age. If I were a book, I would fear that if I were to trust you, you would simply walk out of my life, so instead I keep the pages closed. If I were a book, I would tell you about family separation, about a mother leaving her family and her children not knowing why. If I were a book, I would tell you about my older sister having to surrender her childhood because she had to take care of me. If I were a book, I would empathize with someone who may feel alone and worthless because I know what, how that feels. If I were a book, I would tell you about feeling alone, about a cloudy mindset making it impossible to think straight as dark thoughts build up. If I were a book, I would struggle with capturing a happy memory because, because it is elusive, disappearing before I can write it. If I were a book, I would tell you about multiple deaths and a child who blames herself for the death of her grandma, uncle, and cousins. If I were a book, I would tell you about not wanting to go, go to school, not wanting to have friends, blocking myself from the world because being alone allowed me to hide my sadness. If I were a book, my tattered pages would resist being straightened. No, I do not want to go to a shrink. Oh, wow. No, I would not want to go to a shrink. No, I'm not going through a phase. No, I'm not too young to feel this pain. If I were a book, I would tell you about being bullied because I did not look like the other girls or because I chose to follow the rules. If I were a book, I would tell you about being bullied because I was black and called ugly or that my hair did not flow like white or Latina girls. If I were a book, I would fade away like my depression. That was magnificent, very impressive. It's my great pleasure to present you first with this award for winning in the category, and second, the grand prize winner gets this iPad. Congratulations again, well done.
Okay, and at this time, we would like to call back up the other three winners and all 11 of the honorable mentions for one group photo. So if all the winners and honorable mentions could please come forward, we'd just like to take one quick photo with all of you, please. And let's hear it for them. They all did an amazing job. Yeah, just line up right here. We'll get a few photos. Parents, feel free to take some pictures with your iPhones, etc. It's like the paparazzi out there. Let's have one more round of applause for the winners and honorable mentions. And just one final sincere thank you to the Library Foundation as well as to Mayor Pro Tem Taylor, Council Members Combs and Nash. I know Mayor Mueller's on the phone and Council Member Carlton. Let's give a round of applause to the City Council for hosting this event. Thank you. Thank you. And with that, we are going to take one big group picture, everybody, uh, right outside. So if you could please, we'd all like to reconvene just outside the chamber so we can take a big group picture. Thank you very much.